yeah in like sixth grade i discovered guitar hero i think that was like right when guitar hero came out um mm -hmm. i got really really freaking good at the game like i was yeah. playing like through the fire and the flames on expert and like Whoa. cruising through it um, i tried it i tried it once and i was just like this is so foreign to me uh, yeah. but i do know and, and i think a lot of uh, or a lot of musicians really um in the beginning anyway railed against the game mm -hmm. it's like why don't you just pick up a real guitar and learn how to do it that way but they freak yeah. they forget and fail to realize that that was a gateway for so many kids to become you know to get into it so usually yeah. I, I it's funny i ask uh students or, or, or um instructors you know we do these music mentors one of the questions i ask is like you know when did the music bug bite you like when when did you know that that was your thing and to hear that it partially, at least it seems so now, you know, was to come from, you know, the game Guitar Hero is pretty amazing because, you know, to, to let our viewers know, um, you are a ripper. Like you can play everything well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So to see that that's where it came from, like blue, red, yellow, blue, you know, like. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, amazing. It, it, it came from rhythm games in general. What So like the snare set me up with good rhythm like taking that snare class in fifth grade set yeah. me up with good rhythm to play rhythm games really well yeah. so like dance dance revolution guitar hero um like any of those rhythm based games were like very natural for me so like I, we were always like going to the arcade and like playing them and, and hanging out um Love it. And yeah and then uh from there my my dad was like basically made the comment that every like musician was making at the time which is like why don't you just pick up the real thing mm -hmm. and so I, I basically i made a bet with him that if i learned how to play sweet child of mine like the um the lead guitar parts mm -hmm. and i and i learned it and performed it for him like on the real guitar because like i was playing it on the guitar girl guitar and he, he was like i bet you can't do it on a real one and i was like you want to bet and he he like he said, okay, if you if you uh, learn Sweet Child of Mine on the real guitar, and find a guitar to play it on, and like do like go the extra mile and put in all the work and all the effort, then I'll get you a real guitar of your own and lessons at a local school. Amazing. And so I, at this point, YouTube was kind of in that like half swing. You know, yeah. so it's like we're we're definitely past Charlie bit my finger in the internet age, and we're <laughs> we're, like, we're before like 2013 dubstep kind of happened. Uh -huh. like in in terms of cultural moment, we're we're just we're pre uh, pre Gangnam Style. Yes, and, and in other words, you didn't have the onslaught of information uh, mm. that YouTube can offer now. I mean, you, I would say like you could learn how to do pretty much anything. On yeah, YouTube, whether it was, it's it was, learning how to become a killer guitar player or produce a record or mm -hmm. install your garage door. You know? Yeah, it like right at this point, like the only person who was like really doing guitar stuff and had like a channel was Marty Schwartz. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know him. He's like the beginner's beginner guitar player but he like goes through every little detail so that yeah. you know exactly where each finger goes and he's arguably one of the the best like youtube channels to start learning guitar yeah. um or at least at that point that was where like i've kind of learned mechanics of the fingerings and and notes and stuff did you go uh, to an actual school as right well? so but that was how i learned it so i i didn't have a guitar so i went my knew my next door neighbor had a guitar so oh, yeah like asked him if I could borrow it and use it and then he got the guitar and he gave me his guitar um oh, cool. to that to practice on um so it was an electric and I didn't have an amp so I, like I didn't know how to make it sound guitar. yeah <laughs> right so then I had to go get like a, a thing to connect my guitar to my computer and garage band had just become a thing at this point so I, it was just timing things where it yeah. was like the ability to just like plug my guitar into a computer and hear myself come out of the guitar with all the little like amp modelings beginnings and things yeah um that was how i was able to practice and feel like i had like a real guitar amp like half stack marshall thing in in, yeah. in my in my room um and like it was and it wasn't actually it wasn't even in my room it was like my dad's office room where he had a, a like a little mac computer nice. um and yeah so i learned that song 
So you learned, yeah, I learned Sweet Child of Mine, the, the Sweet lead. Child of Mine, performed it for my parents. And then we went to go get a guitar. Um, and the first guitar I had was like an Epiphone Les Paul, like just all black um, nice. with like some cool, like little Art Deco strap or something.